wanted to bring out one of my uh, good friends, someone I've worked with for, geez, I think it's coming up on 17 years now. So in a minute here, I'm going to go ahead and bring up Kevin Dixon. A um, little bit of a, a, a different approach today, though. We're going to talk about MTI's Ultimate Market Scanner. So excited about that. Understand when it comes to trading, never ever invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Please always trade with what is called equity management in mind. And the reason for that is because even the most successful traders, the best traders in the world, incur losses. We know that, okay? The smart thing is, though, is proper equity management, how we maximize our gains, how we minimize our losses, and always, always, always trade with proper equity management. So, again, I won't spend a lot of time talking about me because I'm not going to be on it a whole lot today. Um, as Renee said, I know a lot of you know me. I've spent the last uh, 25 years traveling across the U.S., Canada, talking to people on how to take control of their financial lives. Uh, if you don't know a lot about us at Market Traders Institute, um, we are in Orlando, Florida. I'm actually broadcasting live from this building right now. A uh, little bit different weather than I think my, first, my presenter had on before me. We're at about 80 degrees in Central Florida right now. Now, if you don't know about Market Traders Institute, we are not a broker. Uh, we're not affiliated with any broker. Really, what we've been doing for the past 23 years is pro providing premier education, education portals, uh, premier technology and software and systems, as we will demonstrate to you today. And probably the most important thing, putting together the strongest team and mentors. Uh, if there's anything that I can tell you in 25 years of experience of trading, every asset class that there is that's out there, um, you can have great system, tools, information, but it breaks down to people, uh, people you want to work with. And I, I'd like to show out to point out the fact to my audiences, again, 23 years we've been in business. You know that you don't survive in business for 23 years unless you're doing something right, unless you have a rock solid foundation. Um, fast, fast growing company. In the last uh, six to eight years, we've gone through tremendous growth. We were actually ranked by Inc. Magazine as high as a 592nd fastest growing private company in the U.S. Again, we're experts in all asset classes across stocks, options, and currencies. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit different today, though. We're going to mainly focus on options and stocks. And then the tool that we will introduce to you also covers foreign currencies, which Kevin will just touch on just a touch. So anyway, what I want to go ahead and do is uh, introduce my buddy Kevin up here. And Kevin and I have known each other, I think, coming up on about 17 years. Uh, he's an incredible trader, as she mentioned. Uh, Kevin trades stocks, options, and Forex, um, commodity futures, built great at teaching, educating. Again, as you look for people to work with, not only do they need to have a proven track record, but make sure they can effectively teach and communicate. And that's one of the great things about Kevin. I think you'll find if you've never heard him talk, if you get a chance to be in his live class, in his classes, uh, the opening, closing bells, uh, incredible communicator. I'm going to give some of you in this presentation today an opportunity actually to be live with Kevin tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock when he does his opening bell session using the exact tool that we're gonna demonstrate for you today. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Kevin on, on the airways here. And Kevin, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Let me know um, when you can, uh, when we can hear you, do a sound check and go ahead and bring up the scanner for us, Kevin. Well, thank you very much, Aaron. Thank you very much. I appreciate everyone. And thanks for the privilege of being in the room with you today. And after such a, such a great intro, I can only follow up and say thank you. My name is Kevin Dixon and I'm the Senior Trading Analyst here at Market Traders Institute. I'm the host of the opening bell and of the closing bell, and we do about 18 to 20 hours of live and market analysis each day. And I'm a market relationship educator. When I talk about the markets, I'm not just talking about stocks and ETFs, which honestly, I've been trading stocks for over 30 years, and this is what brought me into trading as a business. Over the years, I added Forex into my repertoire and I've always looked at futures because it's really relationship management at the end of the day. So I'm going to be showing you a few tools here. Um, this is the ultimate market scanner. I've also got some charts up here as well. And how many of you like to trade options, would you say? I like to use the leverage of options. And each day in opening and closing bell, we go through the process of looking in the pre-market, selecting stocks to do some day trading on. And then once the markets settle down, we start to identify opportunities for where we're going to continue to buy with the market or, or sell with the market. And I'll tell you what, this week has certainly been an interesting week to say the least, as I show you a few different features here. 
um, in the Ultimate Market Scanner. When I pull up this page here, for example, the markets page, and listen, for those of you that haven't heard me teaching before, we're going to be moving pretty quickly here. So I know things are going to be coming fast. Don't get overwhelmed. Please ask questions if there's any stocks you want me to look at, if there's any currencies you want me to look at, whatever you want me to look at, let me know and I'll be glad to take your questions and plug in some symbols and do some analysis for you, okay? Because my team, we're in it to win it. That's our mantra and that's our motto because we never take trades we plan to lose. Over the last few days, we've had quite a bit of scare in the markets and a lot of things have been moving very strong. And the Ultimate Market Scanner is a dashboard trading system. so. When you look between here, you've got all sorts of indices, you've got rates, you've got Forex, you have futures, sectors. There's a lot that you can really get wrapped around in, but this is a professional money management tool. And I use it as an idea generator because, you know, with my experience of being a chartist in the markets and being able to analyze charts, the stock market's such a big place that you need ideas, something to help you identify where is big money moving? Where is market action going? What's going on? What's up? What's down? And a lot of the features in the Ultimate Market Scanner are analysis driven, like for example, Twitter up 17% today. We short sold this at the open. It opened at 34.15. We deployed a day trading strategy called Fade the Gap. Has anybody ever heard of Fade the Gap? So just this one page alone, I can use to attack the market at any time. But this is more like a snapshot. There's Snapchat, there's the spiders, the SPY down over 1%. There's the VIX, the VXX jumping 10%. So you can see that it's a tense market here. And up and down, you've got plenty of information. We have exchanges, we have Canadian exchanges that are available to our students here through the use of the tool. But the real strength of the Ultimate Market Scanner is clearly in the ability to create buy signals or sell signals. This is an alert-oriented system, and you receive an order to buy at a specific price with a stop loss and with a target profit. So you can see that there's a lot of value in being able to move between one market to the next to the next. Does anybody in the room trade futures? We have over 1,100 different futures contracts that we track each day, and you've got your cash indexes like the Dow Jones. You've got the S&P 500. Here's just a few that you can see there. And you notice where we've got red going on, and you notice where we have the number of days profit per contract. And really, what happens is you receive an entry price through an alert. In this case, last week we had, a earlier in the week, we had an entry date on Monday, short selling the NASDAQ 100 at 67.52.24. So at 67.52, 52, when this price is hit, you open up your short sell to the March contract, you have your stop loss in place, and then you have a target profit in place. So the strength of this system is in identifying where to get in and where to get out. Now I'm going to go back into the stocks feed. Every one of these data feeds work the same way. The UMS is a filtering it has some filtering mechanisms in it as well. And we have seven different time frames that our students can choose from for taking trades on. The smaller time frames would be what you'd be doing for day trading. So in four steps, I can go right from plan to action. I can create enough ideas to be able to get into the trade right away using symbol searches, ETFs. It's really an interesting system. But what I like to do is I like to take the top stocks in the market and trade them using long calls, long puts. So I always shop in the Dow Transportations. I use this drop down menu and I'll go right to the Dow 30. Now, 30 stocks pretty much sums up what's going on in most of your tradable currencies. So what this is showing you, I've actually just went into the Dow Industrials and I'm keeping it very simple because we use the system every day. This is part of your trading routine. Trading is a routine. So you introduce the routine, you reinforce the routine. And so what will happen is that we'll get a scan time and when you receive your scan time, you'll be provided with a simple alert to buy. A uh, question from Barry. Good morning, Barry. Good afternoon. Does your scanner compare to think or swim scanning? Well, this actually, and I have a TOS account. I love TD Ameritrade, by the way, Barry, it's a solid platform. 
Um, this is an idea generator. This actually is an algorithmic tool that shows you specifically where to enter the trade. Can you see what I'm displaying right now? So this is what an alert looks like. The scan will run. You'll receive a buy signal to 350.360. Now, what this means is that you buy Boeing at 350.360. Your stop loss begins at 332.97 and it trails. And we have two levels of take profit, target one and target two. So when you hit your first target, we're wanting to be profit takers. We're wanting to be decision makers. So we will pull in money. We'll start taking lot size off the table, position size off the table. And so what you can use the entry price on is a means to set up a long call. Because don't you think Boeing's pretty expensive at $353 a share? Well, it sure is. So with it being that expensive, I like to convert this to an options trade. And as I rest my cursor over the symbol row, you've got the ability to view detailed options quotes. You've got a detailed quote of the stock itself. But one of the strengths of the system is in knowing where the other trades are. Like I said, we have seven different intervals here. So Barry, what if I could show you where the other market bias is located? For example, the weekly trade style. The weekly trade style is based off of a weekly time frame, which is long-term trading. This is our largest time interval that we use. How many of you like to own Boeing at 135? I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer, right? But back in October 2016, when the rest of the market rally started, we got long Boeing, and it's been long from 135. Now, sure, you see that it's a closed trade. Well, what happens? is that it hit the target and closed. But there are two styles that we're working with. The aggressive calculation is simply from the entry price. And the aggressive calculation shows that, hey, you know what? We've got Boeing actually up 158% at Friday's close, $213.90 from the entry. So each time frame represents a different trading style. And one of the things that a new trader will have difficulty, or any trader for that matter, will have difficulty doing is learning where to get in and, and identifying where to get out of the trade. Wouldn't you agree? So the way that the system explains to you get long at this price or get short at this price makes it real easy. You either agree and you take the trade or you disagree and you pass. Does that make sense? And the way that the, the pre-buy alert is generated is following a schedule. So the interval alert, the smaller the interval, the more frequently you'll receive an update. For example, the 15-minute alert updates every 15 minutes throughout the day. We had a short sell at 345.27 on Boeing that's caught over 2.5% in just a few hours today. So the long trade on the daily, Barry, did not trigger. Does that make sense? So just because you see an alert doesn't mean that you hop into the trade right away. You're waiting for the conditions to develop. And in this example, the ultimate market scanner is fueled by a lot of different technicals. The gentleman that created this program was very fond of Fibonacci's and Andrew's pitchfork and support and resistance, um, and also a big fan of GAN. You know, some of your big Elliott waves. It's got a lot under the hood. I always describe this as a race car because, I mean, how else could you take 11,000 stocks and filter them down to what would be your best plan. And we have over 1,100 exchange-traded funds, over 1,000 futures contracts, and 28 currency pairs that call the exact same way. So if you wanted to get involved in currencies, if you wanted to get involved in futures, or if you even wanted to watch what your mutual funds are doing, there are a lot of facets and features that you could use. Really, in my opinion, this is a system that professional money managers would use to manage their portfolio. And you are a risk manager for your plan. So that means that you are the one that manages and makes decisions within your plan. Now let's talk about what you see under your performance summary. Because every time that you facilitate a scan, you get a review of what's going on there. So 18 winning trades and six losing trades. There are six trades that are flat. The flat trades are where you discover a new entry. Does that make sense? The alerts to enter into a trade can be sent to your email address of record each and every day. So 
you can receive new buy orders anywhere on the go, new sell orders anywhere on the go, and we also will send you an alert when you've struck a target. So there are a few things here that work. You also get to see the number of trades that are long and the number of trades that are short. And then you get to see the profit percentage based on the strategy type that we're using. Now I remain on the daily time frame. Each week we do a planning session and every Friday right now we're doing like a market wrap where I'm teaching the basics of options bootcamp. So throughout the month of February, it's back to basics on our options trading out there. Has anybody never traded options before but has been interested in learning how to do that? Because i got such a simple method for you to be able to do this. So easy to do, so easy to do. And it's just taking and trading in the money. I don't like to trade out of the money because they call it out of the money because you're out of the money, right? But when you see that you've got 23 trades short on the daily, what is your bias? Is your bias bullish or is your bias bearish? Well, with only one long trade and with 23 short sells, it's pretty easy to see the trend direction that's going on there. There's a lot of things up here and around, a lot of bells and whistles for you to get used to as you're sitting down. You know, But at the end of the day, as I say, the, the bread and butter that keeps the engine moving is just the simplicity of a predefined entry point and a predefined exit point. Does that make sense? For example, here was what we had this morning a short sell offering on JP Morgan to 111.14. Yesterday's close was 112.87. I saw a note about volume. How many of you are interested in identifying volume spikes? We've got a lot of new filters that we've just added. We've actually just added an equities curve filter as well that goes back and gives you the record a year over year. So there are a lot of new additions that have been built into the Ultimate Market Scanner that are wonderful. Now, 111.14 to JP Morgan, right? So how about looking at where the other trades are? Click on show all time frames. And now we can see that 111.14 was satisfied today. We're trading below 111 now at this point. So would you risk $3.40 to make $12? Does that sound like sound money management to you? Because this is what I teach my students to work with. There are going to be a lot of trading ideas out there, especially if the market is changing from one cycle to another. If markets are moving from one cycle to another, that means some of your longs that have been winning are going to get out, and now you're looking to get short sold to market. And it's easy for you to see from where you're sitting where the goals are lying at. You know, you look at Chevron to 115.22. Now you may pass on that one if you don't like the risk to reward profile. Now each trend over here under the trends calendar will show you a menu when you click on it that gives you a history. So not only do we look at Chevron, we look at the sector, we look at the industry, and then we look at the stock and provide you with the 10 day history. Our color key is up here so that it's very easy for you to follow, right? Reg asking, can you filter the stock list? I trade options for the most part and have some spreads that are too large. As a matter of fact, yes, we do have an ability to filter only optionable stocks. But what I would tell you to do to solve that riddle is to use higher volume because volume is the cause and price is the effect. As I'm pulling up Chevron for you, our current trends signal we give you the the opinion is that we're seeing this kind of changing from bullish to bearish and this interprets as the markets in the process of moving from bull to bear it's in a very aggressive short signal for advanced traders but you can see that very bearish very bearish the previous 10 days oil and energy has been moving on the short term oil integrated as an industry has been moving on the short term and certainly chevron has been on the sell so you would either agree and continue to take the short sales or disagree and look for something else. And as you see, each day you have an entry lining up. Now these updated yesterday, and of course your bigger gains are going to be down at the bottom with some of your larger, longer held trades. But each time frame works the same way. And the question regarding the filtering, let me go back up to my scan options. And I was on the Dow Jones. I'm going to go back and click on all stocks and then scan all once again as i said folks you'll this this time will go by so quickly with us what, what really i want to impress upon you 
is that this is bundled this this package is bundled up with opening and closing bell which we go through the process of evaluating trades every day taking trades every day and making decisions within the team so i've only got the privilege to be with you a short period of time here this afternoon but i want to make sure that i give you the overall impression of how valuable something can be that helps you as an ally you know and you're getting your ideas put in front of you uh, moving back down to the scan options menu the question was how about optionable trades well you know what you can go through and filter out only optionable stocks or indices or if you like to do weeklies we've got weeklies uh, we've got the industrials the transportations utilities nasdaq 100 we're tracking over 11,000 stocks here if you could take the top 100 stocks in nasdaq and trade them at 80 percent efficiency would that be great if you knew that your ideas or that you're getting generated are doing well and that you've got a system that's consistently working to generate great ideas for your trading plan would that be a value and i find this to be just an incredibly great tool i've been trading for a few decades and teaching for a while before i was introduced to this tool and I'll tell you what, this makes my job a lot easier because as opposed to looking at every chart, which I can do, all I have to do is run a scan and here's a plan. Here's a plan to trade. Trading doesn't get any easier than being able to follow a plan that's well written down in front of you. And it's not only that. What if I could show you how to take the top sectors in the market to shop for you know when you're looking in the sectors feature increase your success by finding the strongest and weakest sectors in the market and trading them and it's a stack ranking that's going on so number one would indicate that this is the most bullish sector in the stock market and number 16 down here indicates that this is the most bearish sector in the stock market and if I'm looking for trades here all I simply do is left click on view stocks in this sector and as opposed to looking all over the place, now I'm looking focused in this example, oil and energy. And I can hide my filtering options here and open the scan details page and get the track record of what's going on right now. 30 long trades doing 24 and 6, but 330 short sells. Now this basket is doing 85% success at yesterday's close. So we're seeing a lot of new trades coming through. You can see that you know some hold longer than others. But to me, volume is important. So real quickly to get to my bottom line, I can say, well, if I'm looking for short sells, I don't really want to short sell anything below $10. And I do want to have a little bit higher volume. Let's say 1.2 million shares a day on average. And then to validate those rules, I just click on scan all to scan everything that meets those criteria. And here we go working to a 90% strike rate, which is very strong. Now, if 69 winning trades right now, 54 have struck the first signal target. So we're seeing a really good high strike rate going on. And looking for new ideas, there are four flat trades. So since I'd be looking for short sells, I could just click on pre-sell and then there are some new trading ideas. It's called a pre-sell because we predetermined that we will sell at this price. Does that make sense? So, Reg, in asking, answering your question, because I love to trade options too, and I've, t I've taught a lot of people in my class to trade options. A lot of my stock traders are also starting to trade Forex, and a lot of my Forex traders are starting to trade options due to the leverage. And I've been trading options for decades, and I love them. They're awesome. Um, but you can filter those things down. Higher volume, Reg, will get you a lower spread. Does that make sense? Higher volume will get you a lower spread every time. Um, and what weaknesses does the scanner have? Well, again, to be, to be completely truthful with you, this is one of the easiest and most simple systems to follow I've ever found. Um, anything could have... A nuance here or there and I'm actually struggling to think about that um, there's a scan structure that means that each interval updates at a different place so I guess one thing Reg you could say is that it's not using a real-time data feed 
when you receive this alert from the day, you're handed this price to get short yesterday. So what that means is when the market's open, you go plug in your short sell price at 115.22. So I think the challenge for a new trader of this system is in understanding the nature of the alerts. If I would have, you know, if I that's the question I would have wanted to have answered when I first started using the system. I appreciate your question now that I'm, that I'm grounding this to my experience when I first started using this tool, because I've been using things that were updating real time, writing automation, having contingency orders kick in option trades. But the gentleman that wrote this algorithm found that sometimes the market would come test to stop but not take it out. Does that make sense? So, you know, the price comes down, it doesn't take out your stop, he doesn't want to be out of the trade. So that's one of the, the challenges that I initially had to get over is, hey, you know, for example, Friday's close, 118.58, right? Well, the 15 minute updated at 12.30 at 114.37. The 30 minute time frame updated at 12.30 at 114.37. You know what I'm saying? Like the market just comes and takes out your stops and then it goes back the other way. And so he didn't want to do that. Um, but getting the alert down, you can see that, all right, there's Friday's close. We're $4 beyond that close. Why is this not showing that it's filled? But the ultimate market scanner is built on open, high, low, close bars. Let me show you. I go into the chart and there are so many bells and whistles here. Each Every other week I do host a program just on this program. It's called the best practices. And so I've got a large archive of going through and showing the students many of the features that I'm showing you now as to how to maximize your use of the tool. You can create watch lists. You can create an unlimited number of watch lists. You can plug your entire portfolio in it and begin tracking. I mean, honestly, it's, it's very, very limitless. But here we are on the weekly, okay? So the weekly, there's two cells down. You see where our short cells at, and you see where our targets are projected. Can you see that? So just getting used to closing the trade if it closes below the stop, Reg is writing not hard at all. Live data would blow through the circuits. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's true. But this system trades the same way on every asset class. You know, I, at the beginning of my conversation, I was showing everybody a little bit about the futures market because the futures market, I love to look at the futures before the New York session is open. I love to look at the pre-market to identify a couple of day trading opportunities for the team at the open. And I've taught my team how to do the fade the gap, fill the gap strategy. And some people are done trading in the first hour. Is there anybody in the room that's a day trader? I mean such a simple strategy the market gives you this strategy every day now we that are swing traders as i wear both hats we have to take time allow the trade to set up a little bit more um personally reg i like to use i like to use options to get short i like to sell i like to buy long puts basically i don't like to use margin for swing trading short does that make sense everyone because you know margin you've got unlimited risk Something dumb happens, the price just goes bonkers, and you're sitting there saying, good Lord, what have I gotten myself into? But with an options trade, your risk, your most risk is the premium that you use to get down. So I'm much more comfortable buying long puts to get short the market. Does everybody follow that okay? Because that way I've limited the amount that I could lose. It's always about mitigating risk. And I wouldn't be here sitting and talking to you today if I hadn't learned that lesson a long time ago. And I come from the point that in 30 years, I've made all the mistakes that you're going to make. So let me help you not make those mistakes that I paid for. And let me also show you how to trade the market as a relationship every day. And that's, uh, again, the opening and closing bell, I think, have been just a really, really big asset to our students because we do get that daily interaction we get our eyes on the prize every single day and so we're able to build a consistency over time i've had students that have been trading with me for over 10 years and i think i'm very grateful for that opportunity but that only speaks to the way that we attempt to be consistent now each of the different time frames here as you skip through will show you where the trades are 
So here's the 240 minute interval. This sold short at 130.59. You see where the stop loss is at now? We've moved the stop loss below the entry point. I can scroll down here and there's your volume bars. Your volume bars at the bottom showing you your volume spikes. And then there's the signals. We're talking about the 240 minute interval that I'm showing you right now. So in 10 days, it struck through two targets and you see a wave of bearishness on Chevron. Are you asking yourself a question, which direction should I be trading here? Or can you clearly see the direction you should be trading here? I mean, there's a question I would pose to the room. You can answer it to yourself if you like, or you can say, yeah, I can see what you're talking about there, Kevin. But each interval is a different trading strategy. For some of you that like to be short-term swing traders, you want to be in a trade for maybe a week. Your options traders want to be in a trade for maybe two weeks. This short sold at 131.14, and now we've managed our stop loss down to 119, locking in 12 points within just a few weeks. I mean, this is exciting. I saw a moment ago someone had asked a question about the FANG stocks. Let me move out of the Browse Sectors feature, and I'll show you how easy it is just to answer that question. Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, come on down. And even, you can see even the stocks that'll be reporting earnings. We've got all sorts, of, good Lord, I've got, honestly folks, this is a dashboard trading system. There's so much you could learn while you're earning with this tool. Now first up, the FN Fang is Facebook. So here's what we got for you on Facebook. And I'll open all time frames here. And once again, Facebook, long to 128.49. A closed position means that we've struck our targets and exited the trade. There's an aggressive trade that is still open long from 128. And the stop loss for that trade is 173.50. So you see the difference between where we're at now and where the stop is trailing having locked in profits but a short sell at 180.60. This trade yesterday was up 42 cents, but with us trading to 176, it's up over three points today. You're targeting 177.73, 172.64. When you strike targets, the stop loss accelerates faster into the trade to lock in profits. So there's our bias on Facebook, but every one of our trades is winning here, folks. Longs and shorts. So the next is the A in FANG, which is Amazon. Come on down, Amazon, Amazon Prime. So now we've got Amazon looking pretty slick. It is down about almost four, it's down over 40 points the week. We're starting to see some new short sell opportunities kicking in. And in fact, a few trades are getting short there. But I think it's a no brainer that everybody in the room would love to have owned this stock at $800, right? And then the N in FANG is Netflix. And there's your net affliction. The afflicted one, as I like to call it. Look at Netflix there. And a lot of times we're having a good time because trading is waiting. Sometimes you're waiting for your trade to set up. And while you're waiting for your trade to set up, there's nothing to do. We had a short sell kick on Netflix a few days ago. That trade's not making money right now. But this has got a 56-point target and a 20-point stop. When you're trading with good money management rules, you have an advantage as a trader because now you know the big answer, what is my risk? What is my reward? And you're just looking to get between those two points, right? And here's Goog L, La Google. And you take a look at Goog L and Goog L, again, buying, selling, following the rules. The ultimate market scanner trades with rules every time it trades. So our students know what their risk is when they get into it. Look at that. In less than a week, 52 points short Google, right? 100 points short Google, isn't that something? So there are a lot of different facets and features that you could look at here. And how many of you are worried about the current market environment? You think that the markets are going to crash. Does anybody think that the markets are going to crash here? Yes, no, maybe so. Well, have you heard of a vehicle that's called inverse exchange-traded funds? Exchange-traded funds are 
and, I, and I, I'm with you, Reg. I don't necessarily think the markets are going to crash. We just had a correction happen. A move of 10% off the most recent high, off the most recent low is a correction. And a correction happens once, maybe twice a year. A pullback is a 3 to 5% move, and that happens frequently. But let me show you something. Going into ETFs, and I'm resetting my filters and scanning all, because I'm going to show you something today that should alleviate your concern about tomorrow. A few years ago, back in the subprime meltdown, we created another asset class of exchange-traded funds. And this is the diamonds, which is the Dow Industrial Average, and it has a, a twin, which is called the DXD. And what this is, is an inverse exchange-traded fund. Now, again, I wanted to make sure that I gave everybody something to where if I never run into you again, if I don't get to be your coach, I wanted to give you something today to where 10 years from now you'll say, well, I was glad I sat in and listened to that guy talk that day, you know, um, because not everything is for everyone, you know, and it has to make sense to make sense to you. The Dow Industrial Average, the diamonds are made up of the 30 stocks in the Dow Jones and are long vehicles. Every index is a long vehicle. Do you follow me all right there? So what happens if this starts to go down? Well, there is an inverse exchange traded fund that's called DXD. What this is, is it takes the 30 stocks in the Dow Jones and shorts them. Goes exactly on the other side of the trade. So it's an exciting vehicle considering that the diamonds are trading at 248 bucks and the DXD is trading at $8.50. This is a double weighted exchange traded fund, which means that for every one share of the Dow Jones, this shorts two shares. So as long as the diamonds are going up, the DXD is going down. It's like the VIX, the VXX, the CBOE complacency indicator. It only jumps whenever there's a shift in sentiment between the put call ratio on S&P front month contracts. So take a look at this. I'm going to open up a detailed quote using the markets page. I'll just open it up. And then I'm going to go plug in the diamonds. All right. Yeah, Raj, and you know that short, you're exactly right. That short covering rally will be astonishing when we're done. And that's what the first buying is here off of selling like that is a short covering rally. We're going to get along fine. Thank you, KC. And if you're concerned, I want you to write down the symbols I'm going to give you today because I'm going to give you four symbols for each of the index tracking exchange traded funds, the diamonds, the spiders, the Qs, and the Russell 2000, okay? You can do this with crude oil because you have ETFs. You can do this with gold. You can do this with basically every sector. It's really amazing. I'm going to click on go on the detail quote page. And this shows you, of course, your quotes, your highs and lows. When I click inside the chart here, this shows you the Dow Industrial Average over two years. But what I like to do is come down to the symbol comparison. Here is DXD. And then click on Build the Chart. Do you see an adverse correlation? It's kind of like gold in the U.S. dollar. Do you see an inverse correlation here? So whenever the Dow Jones starts dropping, the, the DXD is going to move higher. Look at this over a three-month view. Can you see what's happening? So when this is crossing over, when it crosses over, you're buying DXD. You'll make a flipping fortune here. And the thing that's also great about it is that DXD is optionable. 1.6 million shares a day. You've got good trading volume there. And each exchange traded fund has a double weighted alternative. So let's go ahead and say, for example, here are the Qs. Well, this is QID. Here is the SPY and the SDS. And here's IWM and TWM. So Grab a pen, write down these symbols real quick, and I'll give you what I'm what I'm gonna let you have here. The diamonds, 
then slash DXD, delta x-ray delta. Okay. The Qs, the NASDAQ 100, and the QID, Quebec, India, Delta. The SPY, the S&P 500, Exchange Traded Fund Tracking, and the SDS, Sierra, Delta, Sierra. And IWM, which is a Russell 2000 Exchange Traded Fund, TWM is the ultra short there. So when you click on build the chart, yeah, it's going to look busy. But are you seeing the same thing? As the Qs are up 2% over a three-month period, the quid is up or is down 5%. If the Qs were down, the quid would be up that much. Does that make sense? The diamonds are up 4%. The DXD is down 8% because it's double weighted. Is that connecting out there, Red KC? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Because it needs to be super simple so that you can understand it. So at the end of the day, how do you use these? Well, this is why you shouldn't be worried about the next bear market. The next bear market is going to happen. You know, trends move in waves, but markets move in cycles. Every seven to ten years, you'll have a black swan event that comes out of nowhere. Now, my opinion, the black swan event that would drive this next market down could be tied to cyber securities. Does that make sense? like your bitcoins these things are starting to get wrapped into other assets now and unregulated and regulated kind of makes a pretty lethal formula in my opinion so i've got my own opinions about what i think is going to happen next with the market and that's why i always want to be prepared be prepared for what happens next can you agree that this is showing you a very good inversion rate and then you look back 10 years and look at some of the lofty prices you could be going. And this would take us right back to 2008, just using a 10-year chart. But there's your bull market. There are some of the prices on the inverse ETFs toward the end of subprime meltdown. You had some really incredible moves that were going on there. So from that sense as well, indicators, good information, exchange-traded funds, we've got them. There's the, tel there's the TVI VIX. There's the Yang. There's the SOX. These are triple weighted exchange traded funds. So whenever, for example, semiconductors are on the sell, this moves three times because it's triple weighted. They're exchange traded funds that track the SPXU that are triple weighted. We also look at Canadian ETFs for all of our friends up north. You can go through and take a look at a large number of exchange traded funds. So there's plenty to really get your head wrapped around in. Now I'd mentioned before, that you have the ability to create your watch list, your own favorite symbols. Let me go ahead and complete this thought with the Qs and the QID so I can make sure everybody is able to write down these symbols that I wanted you to have today. And here's IWM and TWM. Make sure that you either grab a screenshot here so you can have those symbols for later. Let's go ahead and close our scan details. And let me bring the symbols to bear so that you can see them here. As you see, there's your inverse exchange traded funds, and there's your index tracking exchange traded funds, and double weighted means double profit on the way up and on the way down. Now, this is pretty neat because this is a vehicle, like I said, that I didn't have during the last bear market. Does that make sense? I didn't have inverse exchange traded funds during the last bear market. So I'm either buying long puts or I'm selling calls and I like to be a buyer I like to, to be a buyer of long calls and long puts so stocks at this price level when the market crashes compared to this price level when the markets in full bull I mean $275 versus $38 how are you commanding more capital how are you commanding more leverage in the market I'll tell you what, double weighted, this thing crashes, you will make a flipping fortune. Not kidding. And you can take that to the bank. So I don't want anybody to worry about when is the next bear market going to occur. Instead, when the market does go into a bearish condition, be prepared. So anybody not get these symbols down that you're wanting to pay attention to? 
Now, just briefly, I haven't touched on anything other than stocks and exchange traded funds here, but we also have a very good system of taking the exact same algorithm and trading 28 currency pairs with it. And we're doing very well with our currency pairs on our daily. You don't even have to know anything about Forex to be able to follow these rules because you'll receive an, a notification to get long and get short. Market traders, you know, we're a Forex first company. And when I say that, the, a, lot of the, a lot of our experts are Forex experts. And equities is something that brought me into the market first. So I love stocks. I'm a stock first guy. But if you're moving into multiple markets, wouldn't it be great to manage all your money under one hat? What if I told you that everybody that's a currency trader is a futures trader and that everyone that's a futures trader is a world market trader? You can take a look and say, well, show me what's going on with gold or show me what's going on with the E-mini S&P 500 or show me what's going on with the great British pound. And you pull up the symbols and hey, guess what? There's your S&P, there's your gold, and of course then I could start pulling up currency pairs, but that's not the point. What I'm wanting to drive through to show you this is that this is a dashboard trading system. You can plug in anything that you want to do and get straight to work. The strength of the system is in notifying you of any new trading opportunities on your existing portfolio. And what I've taken you to is my watch list feature, and this is very cool, because you can enable your alerts and start receiving notifications of what to buy and what to sell. Each week, for example, I ran this scan on Monday of weekly trades. Now I can set alerts and start receiving emails to notify me of any new trading opportunities. This does not have to be open. In other words, you can close your computer. The UMS is not a system that has to command a lot of resources because it's a web-based system. So then you enable your alerts for the time frames that you'd like, and then they're generated to your email address of record following the interval alert structure. It's really cool. Um, Raj is asking, when is the next bear market? Can elicit a different, when is the next bear market? And, you know, I think at this point, it's not too far off, to be honest with you. I don't think it's too far off because we've been through, remember I said earlier, seven to 10 year cycles. Markets are cyclical. And I've got a formula that I use for predicting trend. It's called the cycle of change formula. And it's based on the logic of a 10% move. What is a 10% move? Off the most recent high or off the most recent low? I'll show you in a chart actually. This is the spiders. Can you see this all right? Now this yellow line represents a 10% move from the high. You take your high, 286.58, and you say, all right, 286.58 times 90% is a 10% correction. 257.92. Do you see the trend line there? Now, Reg, I, I had this drawn a few weeks ago. Do you see where the price went? You can't make this stuff up. Do you see support there? Do you see old resistance, new support at that price level? The three and the five technical pullback, the 20% is a reversal. So when the markets reverse, I'll simply go to my basket of inverse trades and start making a mint on the right side of the trade and also buying long puts along the way. So again, it's really an exciting system in the sense that anyone can get the ideas generated and turn around and go right to market, whether you're trading mutual funds, whether you're trading the options, the options chains are awesome. I'll show you what the option chains look like. Does anybody want me to, is there a symbol that I can plug in for you? Does anybody want me to plug some symbols in just to show you what they look like? Otherwise, I'll just start pulling some things out. All right, because Tesla, Mr. SpaceX, Snapchat, and the spiders. You got it. Snapchat, that was an exciting move yesterday, wasn't it? 30 flipping percent. Did you see Twitter today, TJ? My God, that was a fast move. Bill, you got Google coming on. Woohoo, and Red was long on Snapchat. You were laughing your way to the bank there. 
Conti the spiders, I can pull up into another window. And you know what's really cool? Again, I can open another scan window. And then guess what? Here's my exchange traded funds. Put the spiders in. And we are good to go. Just like that. So I've had some questions here. Thank you for the symbols. Reg had a good week yesterday. <laughs> Here's Tesla. So Tesla, Google, and Snapchat. We had a new buy signal on Snapchat today. That's kind of a big stop. I would modify this stop loss. But Snapchat blew through that $17 IPO price yesterday like nobody's joke. Tightening up the bars here. Look at that. That was brilliant. Now, you know that you took a pretty good chance there, Reg, in getting into some snapper. But check it out. It was range bound. It broke through that $17 level and was just off to the races here and we've got targets projected above 28 and 36 bucks the weekly let me untighten the bars there so you can see the weekly a little clear weekly we're waiting there for it to to give us some things to do we've also got the ability to reg we've also got the ability to use the hard stop here and oh wow you top ticked it reg actually took some profits on those options at the high but not some more on the little pullback, bought some more on the little pullback. There you go. So he's kind of longer term projected there. And Google, this is for Bill. Bill, we were looking at Google a while ago, and we've been getting a lot of short sell signals coming in off the top for Google. And, and Tesla, I was just pulling up because you know you had the SpaceX rocket that was amazing. This is what happens though. If you if you look and the trade is down, the trade is down. We're going to show you clearly, hey, you know what? We missed that entry on Tesla, and the stock is trading lower. Now, the question from TJ, and that was on the Snapchat. Whoa, that was crackling and popping, huh? And Confi wants to take a look at the SPY. And we looked at the SPY a moment ago, and I also shared with you the SDS. And so you saw some of the inverse exchange traded funds that we're working with here. And we would be getting you short to 275, really. You've already been getting short there on, on the ultimate market scanners signals to get you into the trade. It's fun. It's exciting. You know, and, and once you get this tool down, not kidding, a guy that I know actually has the copy, the, the logo tattooed on his arm. He's been using this for going on seven or eight, nine, ten years and doesn't even look at his charts really, just follows the signals. I like to look at charts because I like to either agree or disagree with the direction of the trend. If you know where I'm coming from there, I like to either agree or disagree. Uh, I've got all these tools at my disposal and wow. And yeah, this has been around for years, it has. But we've only been offering our, our clients the opportunities to get involved with this for the last few years. So, you know, honestly, Rex, this is like a castle in a cave. So beautiful, but yet nobody really knows too much about it, which makes it a great asset for us here at Market Traders, no doubt. Oh, nice. Reg is right. Happy to see you got a buying signal on it. Might stay in Mexico a bit longer. <laughs> We're definitely going to get along. I've done great trading and spent a lot of time in Mexico. The thing about it, though, where I was staying, I had a horrible internet connection, and just try loading your platform with a bad internet connection. <laughs> So tired of shoveling global warming. <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> Sorry, that kind of tickled me right there. <laughs> now I'm going to take every one of the symbols that we just talked about and plug them into one place. Here's the spy. <laughs> Here's Snapchat. Here is Google. And any other symbols that you want to take a look at, I'll be glad to plug them in. And I'm going to, I'm still laughing about that one. And build the chart. So there's your symbol comparisons. Shows you where Snap IPO'd. You can rest your cursor over there. Shows you smart, the March 2017 IPO time and how things drifted down. And then pop goes the weasel. This could be doing like, uh, like uh, Facebook did. Remember? when it fell on its face after the IPO and then about a year and a half later they started loving Facebook and Facebook just became what it is today because of that Google and the spiders over two years could you imagine the spiders over two years are up 46 percent 
holy guacamole. I mean, that's just amazing. And as I was saying a while ago, I can actually plug in a lot of different instruments. Here's a mutual fund, FMAGX. I used to work for Fidelity Investments, and I work for Manhattan Beach Trading, another brokerage firm. So those are brokerage firms I was serving at the time. And here is how about a futures contract. We'll go ahead and put in like a crude oil. And then we'll put in an exchange traded fund. We've already got the spiders there to show that. And then we'll put in a currency pair. And we'll build the chart. And this is a dashboard trading system. It is a dashboard trading system. You're comparing multiple instruments together. And there are no other tools in the market that can do this so quickly, so easily, and get you straight to the bottom line. Look, there's a mutual fund involved. It's really, really neat. So I know that I've had um, just a little bit of time to talk about a lot with you. I hope that what you've been able to see um, is interesting. And I'd like to invite everyone into my Friday edition of the opening bell tomorrow so I can show you how we work things at the open for both currencies. The first hour of the class is Forex. And then the second hour of class is the stock market opening bell. So we'll go through these things together as well. And again, invite you to get involved if, if you wanted to see a little bit more about how we use this tool live in the market. Well, come on and be my guest. And we'd certainly be glad to let you see how it works and it either makes sense or it doesn't make sense. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm in the market every day and I'd be glad to see you in there and join part of our team. We've got a really great team of traders. We have a positive mindset. We've got the psychology beat here because we never take trades that we plan to lose. So be prepared. I'm very thankful again for the time to speak with everybody in the room. Do you have any questions for me before Aaron gives me the hook? <laughs> well, again, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your questions. I hope that you found what I've talked about to be interesting, and I'll see you in the morning. Thanks a lot. This is Kevin Dixon with Market Traders Institute. Pitching back to Aaron. Have a great day, everyone, and happy trading. All right. Well, let's all give it up for Kevin, right? I can hear you all around the world. Good information. Thanks, Kevin. As I said, I've been working with Kevin. I was thinking about it when he was talking. I said 17 years. I think it's actually about 14 years, but um, he's, he's a pro's pro. So anyway, just to give you an idea of some of the performance that's been taking place with this, um, the, uh, the ultimate scanner. I mean, for October, my one account grew from 30 to $62,000. Kevin entered your trading room September this year. So far, 23 winning trades, four small losses. Uh, this is the best tool I've ever used. Thanks to UMS, I made 11,000 for December from the start. In July, it was around $15,000. So, you know, ultimately, it's about performance, and, and that's what obviously uh, we're looking to drive to do. So, what I'm going to do before we quickly get uh, taken off and I get the hook is give all of you an opportunity to come on board today and use our, our scanner. So. Just so you know, I know Kevin touched on it. This all includes the stock feed. It also has a Forex feed and an option feed. Now, normally we retail this out in the marketplace for right around $495 a month, but we've been given the green light to put a nice investor inspiration uh, special together for all of you today. So there's really two ways you can check out this, uh, this tool. You have what's called an option A and an option B. If you want to just do $199 for the next month to try it out, great. Then every month after that, it's $199. So you're saving 60% right off of the retail, uh, the online price. Or you can pay for it all at once. I pay $9.95 for the next six months. That covers you up. So you have no ongoing monthly. And uh, you're going to save about $3,000 in value right there. So if you're interested in either one of these options, the easiest thing for you to do is you've got two ways to do this. You can put your telephone number in the chat box for me. And I will have um, Brian Cobb, one of my uh, associates, call out to you, get your questions answered. Or if you want, you can call into this number right here, 407 585 8938 and we will get you taken care of right there now in addition to this when you come on board today i'm going to give all of you the next month in kevin's sessions that's 10 sessions a week over 25 hours total you could actually be live with kevin today at three o'clock for the closing bell if you take action now this bonus is good for the next half an hour tomorrow he'll be back on live from 8 till 10 30 covering the opening bell tomorrow as well so 
either put your telephone number in the chat box for me and um, let me know A or B. We'll have an education specialist reach out to you, get your questions answered. Again, all of this though, we will include for you in today's offer. So the stock, the Forex, the options feed, normally $495 a month, but we're gonna give you an investor inspiration special. Again, option A is $199. You know, take it for the next month. Take it for a trial run, or if you want, if you're like me, you like discounts, uh, $995 covers you for the next six months and you're good to go. That covers all of the feeds, uh, the ultimate market scanner, the three um, the stocks, the options of Forex, and then we're gonna do one month live trading. That's over 100 hours live trading with uh, Kevin. And uh, you can see that the, what we produce is not only the opportunities with the signals, but clearly we're breaking down where and what to buy in certain opportunities in different asset classes. For those of you that have never traded the Forex market, this is gonna be a nice experience for you to get your, your toe in the water in the foreign currency market. Um, for those of you trading stocks and options, obviously this is gonna be a, a nice tool to continue to move on with your trading plan. So we're about running out of time here. I got a bunch of you to put your numbers in. Uh, Tracy will follow up with you. Uh, Jasmine, we will call you. We got your number. Lauren, we've got your number. Uh, Donna, we've got your number. Again, you can just call right in if you want. Uh, but again, if you get enrolled in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to give you the next month free with Kevin live. Over 100 hours of trading live with Kevin, guys.